I have 10 huge new fast food hacks and secrets to save you a lot of money at McDonald's, Starbucks, Chipotle, Burger King, KFC, Subway, Starbucks, and more. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so happy to have you guys here. I'm actually really lucky to have you guys here. I am the YouTube deal guy, Matt Granite. If this is the type of content you like to see, may I urge you please to give this video a thumbs up. It just helps dictate what my next video looks like. If you like this type of content, subscribe, turn your notifications on. Other than the subscribers of this channel, I have virtually no friends. I also have virtually no money on certain days to spend on fast food anymore. I'm repurposing a lot of my funds toward diapers for my two-year-old baby daughter and different expenses. And fast food is a convenience, but even at that convenience, it can cost you a lot of cash. I'm gonna put that cash back in your wallet. Before I get to those secrets, I wanna remind you guys that on my personal website, mattsdailydeals.com, I've got all sorts of deals and coupons to get you through your week, even things for the whole back to school season that include $19 tech backpacks that I've used and loved. I do use affiliate links, which means I benefit monetarily if you're kind enough to use one of my links. The first hack that I wanna showcase is tied to Burger King. And this actually is a trick tied to their menu prices. The Whopper Junior is exactly the same thing as a regular hamburger. Look at the burger, look at the bun, look at the cheese. What's the big difference? The big difference is that a regular cheeseburger has no mustard and it requires a little bit of lettuce, tomato, and extra onion to make it the Whopper Junior. Now I know what you're saying and you're thinking and if you've frequented Burger King, you are aware that the toppings, if you order them in a whole portion, have a fee associated with them in most cases. So if you wanna add lettuce or tomato, there's a fee. But did you know that if you use the word light, that won't cost you a thing. So if you say you want light tomato, light lettuce, Onions, which are always free and have no fee associated with them, doesn't count. But the chef in the back likely isn't going to really adjust your portion that much with the word light versus a full serving. And you're going to save a lot of money by adjusting the regular cheeseburger. So again, order a regular cheeseburger, no mustard, add light lettuce and tomato, extra onion, whatever it is that makes you happy, and use the word light. That will ensure that when this whole cheeseburger is fully loaded up, you end up with the Whopper Junior you end up also with two completely different prices. In some regions, and every community and neighborhood is sometimes different with regards to prices, a cheeseburger can cost you as little as a dollar, where a Whopper Junior is $2.19. Now these prices, of course, will differ by area, community, wherever it is that you're watching this, but it's half the price or less if you load up a cheeseburger and make those simple adjustments as hack number one. For the second hack, let's talk about Starbucks the apple of coffee, one of my favorite places to get an overpriced beverage. But anyhow, enough about me. In my last fast food hacks video, and don't forget to check that out because I offered a completely different set of tips and advice, I discussed how much ice Starbucks put into many of its beverages. But what I didn't mention, which I want to discuss right now, is that Starbucks actually brews many of its ice beverages at a much higher strength. So for example, if you were going to get an iced tea or one of the drinks that you see on your screen, when they sit on a counter, specifically their black tea, it's over brewed, it's made extra strong. And what does Starbucks do to it? They typically dilute it. They add a little bit of water and then they throw ice into a cup. Rather than pay for Starbucks to over ice and dilute your beverage, go one size smaller than you typically want and then add your own ice. To save what could be 30 or 40% at Starbucks, this is the suggestion. Order whatever drink you want one size down. Ask for a cup with just that beverage, make sure they add no water and no ice. And then ask for another cup full of ice. So for example, order a tall iced tea beverage in a cup with no ice and no water, and then get either a grande or a venti cup filled with ice. By the time you pour it in, you're going to be at the exact same composition. It won't be diluted and you won't be overpaying. This trick even works on lemonade. You're going to notice that when you customize the sugar level, there's all sorts of watering and fun things that go on to their highly acidic lemonade mix. This is my suggestion. Get a grande lemonade, no water, no ice, and then fill a venti cup up full of ice. By the time you pour that in and the lemonade dilutes a little bit, you're going to be at the exact same potency and paying 30 to 40% less. Before I get to Taco Bell and McDonald's and a few other awesome savings, let's talk about Chick-fil-A. This is actually a game changer for those of you that like a little bit of bacon on your chicken. So 
I said that way too excited. You could tell that I really don't get out much bacon. That's probably creepy for a lot of you too. I apologize. I didn't mean for it to come out that way. Let's look at the grilled chicken sandwich at Chick-fil-A. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but bacon on any sandwich is just over a buck. So if you add bacon to any original or grilled chicken sandwich, you're paying closer to $5. If you order the club, which is the exact same thing, your prices will start at $6.25. So a reminder guys, get the classic chicken sandwich or the grilled chicken sandwich, then ask to add the bacon for a dollar. Do not overpay for the club, which will take you to the exact same place. You can even see from the photos, it is the exact same thing, except you're just giving some of your hard earned money away to another massive establishment. The fourth fast food hack and saving secret is tied to Taco Bell. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but Taco Bell has a beefy Frito burrito. Now the real trick comes from customizing this delicacy. What starts as a big $1 burrito can be customized. You can add extra meat, beans, rice, sour cream, cheese, whatever it is. By the time you're done and you get all of your fun ingredients into this burrito, you are looking at a price that is much closer to $3.50 or $2.95, depending on how you customize it and what you add. The difference is though, you're starting at that $1 base. So rather than going for a much larger expensive option that has all of those ingredients included, it's actually cheaper to load up with the $1 base or $2 base and pay a la carte. This is one of the few exceptions in fast food where it actually pays to add the ingredients independently, similar to that Chick-fil-A bacon trick we just discussed. For hack number five, we're gonna head on over to McDonald's, but don't worry all of the KFC lovers out there, very cool trick that I now use is, is hack number 10, which I will get to as quickly as possible. For those of you who are aware, McDonald's is ready to serve you and they're very happy to do so, except McDonald's is happy to charge you $1 for a medium water. And let's face it, sometimes you just don't wanna spend money on a beverage or maybe with all the wonderful delicacies you're doing, you're trying to go light on the drink. Instead, ask for two small cups. Both cups will be free while that medium water order will cost you $1. For fast food hack number six, let's stay at McDonald's. And if you guys watched my last video, I explained a very quick trick to ensure you always get fresh eggs at McDonald's. And I also alluded to how all of the breakfast sandwiches were made sometimes with ingredients you did not want anywhere near your mouth. Now let's discuss French fries or McDonald's fries. And for those of you watching, I guess there'd be all of you if you got to this point, Sometimes I don't make as much sense as I'd like. What is your favorite French fry? Is it at Burger King? Is it always McDonald's? Where are the best fries? Please weigh in and if you guys have a fast food hack, please share it with the other subscribers and viewers of this channel. But if you wanna get the freshest fries at McDonald's, rather than asking them to give you a new set of fries or trying to instruct people, which sometimes gets awkward and angry, ask McDonald's for no salt fries. 10 out of 10 times, they will make you fresh fries. Now you may be thinking, no salt on fries. Why am I listening to this idiot on YouTube? Well, first of all, they'll be fresh. Sometimes they're a little bit more crispy, not soggy, not sitting for 30 minutes under a heat lamp, but you can also control the sodium. Maybe you want a little bit of extra salt. Ask for the salt packets, those are free. Grab the salt packets, put on as much salt as you want. When McDonald's seasons the fries, it's on a shaker, they go like that. There's not necessarily an art to it, but there is an art to ensuring that you can get fresh fries that are pretty much made to order. Just ask for no salt. That is one of the game changers if you are someone that loves McDonald's french fries. Fast food hack number seven is something that works primarily at Wendy's and McDonald's, but I think you could also have this work to your advantage at Burger King, and that's for all of the onion lovers out there. In fact, even if you don't like onions, one of the reasons, no, you're not knowing my location, Wendy's, thank you very much. Sorry, I had a pop-up. The onions that you typically eat in fast food are dehydrated onions. They're not fresh. And sometimes they go through a process you don't really want to consider if you just simply want the crunch, the texture, and that spice on your burger. So I'm going to tell you guys right now, if you don't want to consume rehydrated onions, simply ask the kind people behind the counter for fresh onions. They have a way to do that. A lot of the time those vegetables are actually pre-cut before they go through that whole process to preserve. Get the fresh onions if you can. I think that makes a world of difference. For all the Chipotle fans out there, in my last video, I discussed a way you could always get more protein. I don't know if you guys remember this, I don't know if you watched, 
But I discuss how if you ask for two different types of meat with one protein order, you get almost double. Why? Well, when you ask for two proteins, they charge you twice. But if you ask for a mix of protein, whether that be chicken and steak or beef or something else, they've got a full scoop and they can't adequately or accurately measure that protein onto the spoon. So that will always result in more protein for just paying that one single price. But there is a second trick attached to that, which I'm going to impart in today's video. And that is another Chipotle hack where if you order a burrito bowl and a side tortilla combined with your two different meat hack that I just discussed, you have enough for two meals rather than one. What does that mean? Why am I imparting this? Well, if you want to enjoy a tortilla and you want to really eat more awesome with that burrito bowl, but maybe you're with someone and you want a burrito bowl and they want a tortilla, there is a way to make that happen. And a lot of people don't realize you can actually do a tortilla addition as a side that will save you a significant amount of money. And it is a great way to use that extra protein you get and just pass that along right into the tortilla, double whammy. For fast food hack number nine, let's discuss Subway. And I'm going to share two tips for you. It's, a, it's also another double whammy. Not only so I could say that and not be weird, but also because there's two pieces of advice and chances are you might not know one of them. So the first thing is if you are with someone and you both want the same basic protein on your sandwich, it is cheaper and more effective to order a foot long and customize each half rather than ordering two six inch sandwiches. I realize this comes down to whether or not you both want the same grilled chicken sub and then yes, you can ask them to cut a foot long in half and customize both halves completely differently. That's good. You might have already known that. What you might not know is that Subway clings till the last very moment to give you fresh vegetables. Their whole eat fresh is actually contingent upon how many tomatoes they can possibly sell from the last batch. You guys have all seen it. We, we hover over the counter and we see what looks like tomatoes from last week. In fact, those tomatoes might be from last night, but that doesn't mean you need to eat them. What will take your Subway sandwich artist no more than 30 seconds of their time is there's a brand new bin of freshly cut vegetables ready to go underneath that bin of subpar tomatoes or lettuce that looks like it has been into a car accident. Don't worry, ask them. Nine out of 10 times, they are very happy, courteous, and willing to give you the fresher vegetables and why when you are paying for a Subway sandwich to eat fresh should you have to eat stale. So make those modifications on the vegetables. Don't be afraid to advocate for yourself. There's plenty of ways to do that nicely where you don't have to be worried about someone spitting in your food. And now, for the 10th fast food hack, which could actually save you more money than you are possibly considering, let's head over to KFC. And there's something tied to KFC, which I've experienced that one of my other subscribers identified in a video, and that is tied to closing time at KFC. He mentioned it and I will attest to it. And then I'm going to show you the actual comment. And this is the tip. If you go to your local KFC near closing time, or right after the lunch rush before they make some of their favorite new pieces of chicken for dinner, you can actually sometimes bargain with them to get rid of chicken, giving you more bang for your buck. And I know that sounds absurd, like bargaining for a used car with chicken. It, it is actually a thing. And I'm see if I can call up Mr. Steve's comments. So this is what Mr. Steve wrote, and I've been doing this for years, which means I might have found my soulmate. Mr. Steve wrote, the best hack is going to a KFC right before they close. They don't want to throw the chicken away, so they will bargain with you. I've got in as many as 15 pieces of chicken with every side for 10 bucks. I've done that 10 times at least over the years. The key is going in the last hour before they close. And the only thing I can add in addition to that, it's actually worked in, a, in the busy city where I live after the lunch rush, those odd times where if you go like 3 o'clock, 3.30, I've had some similar success, but definitely at the end of the day and definitely a functional way to get some more fried chicken at KFC. If you've made it through all of my gestures, some of my strange facial mannerisms and, and hopefully some advice that will save you a lot of money. I know guys, it's like 10 cents here on certain items, but it could be a dollar, three dollars, five dollars. And if you're taking your whole family for an outing, you're trying to give yourself a special treat. That's a lot of money that does add up quickly. Of course, I want to save you as much cash as possible in all departments of your life. If you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. It will mean the world to me if you turn your notifications on as well when you subscribe. That just lets you know when I go upload next month, next video. I'm going to just end this. I'm not making any sense. I love you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.